We are going over converting fractions to percents. My learning target is I can convert fractions into equivalent percents to show both equal parts to the same whole. So our steps to convert a fraction to a percent, we need to multiply the denominator by a number to get 100. Then you are going to multiply the numerator by the same number. And the reason we do that is to make sure that we're getting a equivalent fraction. So whatever you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. And then the numerator, once it's over 100, is going to be what the percent is. All right, number one is 3 fourths. What times 4 is 100? 4 times 25 is 100, so I'm going to multiply the top by 25 as well. So 3 times 25 is 75, so my answer is 75%. Number two, we have 7 tenths. What times 10 is 100? 10 times 10. So we're going to multiply the top by 10 as well. So my answer is 70%. Number three. We have 17 over 25. 25 times 4 is 100. So we're going to multiply the top times 4. So my answer is 68%. Number four, one half to get to 100, we would multiply by 50. And you may already know this, half is 50%. All right, number five, 11 over five. So my this is an improper fraction, so my percent's going to be over 100. So what times 5 equals 100? That is times 20. So if I do 11 times 20, it's 220. So it's 220%. Number six, we have 19, 19 over 20. 20 times 5 gets us 100. So this is 95%. Number seven, one fourth. Four times twenty five is one hundred. One times twenty five is twenty five, so this is twenty five percent. All right, number eight, four fifths. 5 times 20 gets us 100, so 4 times 20 is 80, so this is 80%. Number 9. Alright, we've got another improper fraction, so our percent is going to be over 100. What times 2 is 100? It is times 50. 3 times 50 is 150, so it's 150%. Number 10, 
Number 10, last one, 13 over 50. What times 50 is 100? That is times 2. 13 times 2 is 26, so this is 26%.